If you want a good gaming smartphone, you usually have to spend something like 15,000 rupees. But the Realme C3 is trying to change that narrative. Let's see what it has in store. The Realme C3 has this unique design called the Sunrise design and it's really nice. I personally like it. It's a pretty good design choice for this price segment. Shows that Realme has put some thought into it. It has a textured pattern on the back which helps with the phone not slipping easily and also it's not a fingerprint magnet and that's always a bonus. When it comes to performance, overall the feel of the phone is quick. I didn't notice any lag for the most part but memory management is something that I'm very impressed by. It's the best that I've seen in this segment. So the performance of this phone is its USB. It really punches above its weight when it comes to the performance. Next when it comes to security, Realme C3 has face unlock which works really well but under low lighting conditions you need the brightness to be at 100% which blasts your eyes. Also if you hold it against a light it will find it difficult to unlock. So it's something but not sure as to how secure it is. Yes a fingerprint scanner would have been nice but they need to cut costs at some point and unfortunately it's the fingerprint scanner. If they added a fingerprint scanner this would have been a near perfect device. When it comes to the battery performance, it lasted me at least one and a half day and that is even if you are a power user. I personally struggle to kill the battery in a day which is a sign that the battery life is excellent. The charging speed isn't so great, it took 2 hours 30 minutes with the provided charger. Although this is a trade off, it's fine cause it's very unlikely you'll charge every single day, you'll probably charge every alternate day. Audio performance of the Realme C3 is decent, the speakers do get loud, so yeah I would say they are decent. Now let's talk about cameras. This is an indoor selfie and it's got good amount of detail but if we switch to the portrait mode that's when things start to go weird. Firstly the image looks slightly blurry lacking any detail unlike the standard selfie. Not sure what went wrong here. I tried taking the selfie where there's ample amount of light but it's of no use. Just look at this comparison. It's not like these pictures are taken from a different phone but yeah at least the standard selfie looks good right? Moving on this is the low light selfie with the phone's screen as a light source which looks decent with minimal noise. Moving to the rear camera this is taken indoors and it turned out pretty well. It's got good amount of detail, colors look really nice, overall it's a pretty good image. With the low light shots considering the price I think these pictures are decent. Yes there's noise but that is to be expected but I still think it can capture some usable low light images. Now during daylight obviously things improve and with the HDR mode you get an even better image. So the camera on the Realme C3 is just fine. For most people it will do the job but this isn't a camera centric phone anyway. Realme C3 comes at a starting price of 7000 rupees. There's also a 8000 rupee variant. They should have just introduced one variant instead of two because the one with the 4 GB RAM and 64 GB storage is the obvious choice. But maybe it's for people who feel like 7000 rupees is a bit of a stretch. So for 8000 rupees you're getting a lot of value for your money. Something that most phones don't offer in this price segment. I made you wait long enough. Let's talk gaming. This is what Realme C3 excels at. PUBG played with little to no frame drops on high. I mean the graphics and frame rate are set to high by default. And when was the last time you've seen that on a smartphone under 10,000 rupees? Realme C3 is a phenomenal example of buying a product that actually makes sense. Don't be fooled by marketing, you don't need all the features that most phones has to offer. I would argue that if there's a need for a 15,000 rupee smartphone, if gaming is your top priority. Something for you guys to think about. Now if you are interested in more videos like this, click here and I'll see you in that video.